Hey there. Good afternoon. It's Friday. Yes, Friday again. Um, you know, been watching the news. Huh, who hasn't? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, you watch you watch one one uh, one thing and it tells you that there is going to be another COVID outbreak and another thing tells you, nah, it's not. Uh, and the market doesn't know what to respond to, the, the financial markets. Uh, and then there's the whole race thing. Uh, folks, I tell you what, I'm getting tired. I don't know about you. And I think one of the reasons that I'm getting tired and maybe one of the reasons that you're getting tired is I, I feel like I've got to come up with all the answers. And I don't have to. And neither do you. I was doing some reading in the Bible today, amazingly enough. Psalm 100, uh, it's one you'll hear uh, this coming Sunday. Psalm 100, listen to this. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Folks, I want to suggest to you today that uh, praising God, worshiping God is a great way to start your day and end your day. Your day is going to be filled with all kinds of things. Uh, some of them good, some of them troubling. Uh, these days, probably most of them troubling. Uh, but I don't want you to be overwhelmed. And so I want to give you this strategy. Uh, and that is a very simple strategy that first thing in the morning, you wake up and you offer God praise and thanksgiving. You worship the Lord. Uh, being mindful that God is God and you are not, and thank God that God is God and that we are not. That means that God is still sovereign on God's throne. God is still watching over everything God still has a plan. God is still in charge. We might not let him be in charge, or we might not be mindful that he is in charge, but God is still in charge nonetheless. Uh, there are people in this world who don't believe in God, but not believing in something doesn't make it not so, right? So I want to suggest to you that a great way to start the day and also a great way to end the day is with praise and and worship, and thanking God for just being God, and for uh, the the privilege of of being one of His sheep, and that He is our shepherd, and that there are blessings that come from God every day. You know, very rarely do we think about the blessings. Most of us, we we have this litany of things that we want to take to God that we need God to solve, that we need God to work on. There's people who are sick. There's people who are dying and, and, and their families who are grieving. There's stuff going on in the country. There's stuff going on in the world. Uh, we've got problems with our spouse or our children. Uh, we've got problems at work. Uh, our, our, our cat just choked up a hairball. Uh, who knows what's going on? Uh, there's always going to be something. But you know what? Take a few minutes and think about the blessings in your life. There are many. I have many. Uh, one of the things that, that we do, Sarah and I, whenever we, we say our blessing over our meal, uh, one of the things we, we say, Lord, thank you for, for this food, or for the hands that prepared it. Uh, we ask that you would bless it. And we pray for our children and ask that you would continue to watch over and bless them. And I, we say that very specifically, that you would continue to watch over and bless them because uh, we've seen how God has blessed our children. Uh, their lives haven't always been easy. Our lives haven't always been easy, but God has blessed us. And we want to continue to thank God for that blessing in our lives every day. Uh, uh, and, and even thanking him for the blessings that we're not even aware of yet. 
Uh, you've got things that are coming in your life that you're not even aware of yet that are going to bless you. Uh, you just got to open your heart to God and receive that blessing in. Uh, it can be overly stressful if we spend all of our time trying to figure out how to work out the ills of the world. We should be willing to be used by God. We should spend time thinking about it and, and how we can work on our, our own uh, internal stuff and how we can engage the world to help make it better uh, and, and to help point people toward Christ and toward the kingdom. Um, but it can be overly anxiety producing. It can be overwhelming. Um, and some of you are feeling that way right now. You're overwhelmed. Uh, you're trying to figure out how to fix everything. Um, and you know what? I don't know how. And you don't know how. But God knows how. And so we need to start out with worship and praise. And then we begin to listen. Lord, I, I want to be obedient to you. I want to make myself available to you. So... Uh, help me do that and help me listen to what it is that you want me to do um, as, as you use me for uh, a worker in your kingdom, as a servant in your kingdom. Uh, help me and then uh, do what you have to do during the day and at the end of the day, say, Lord, thank you. I just want to praise you and offer you thanksgiving. Uh, your word says that your faithfulness uh, is to all generations uh, and, and to all people and his love endures forever. And I just want you to breathe that in and bask in that for a little bit and see if that helps your blood pressure come down and maybe helps your perspective uh, a little bit on the world uh, and it helps you uh, maybe prioritize your life a little better. Uh, and, and maybe helps the, uh, your perspective on, on getting involved in whatever it is that you need to get involved with uh, in the, the, the stuff that's going on in the world today. Um, you can do that, uh, but you need to do it with less anxiety and, and less of an, an overwhelmed feeling. And I think if you and I will bookend our days with thanksgiving and praise, It'll do us good. Have a great day.